The North Carolina Blueberry Council invites you to discover the North Carolina blueberry story. It all started with this man, Dr. Frederick B. Coville. He was an important American botanist. In the summer of 1906, he decided to take his city-dwelling family on a vacation. He didn't want his children to grow up not having the experience of uh, some farm life. So he found a farm in New Hampshire and found wild blueberries growing there and decided that would be, be good to work on. During that summer vacation, his daughter picked some wild blueberries and gave them to a local farmer who then grew seedlings from them. Those seedlings were the beginning of Coville's experimentation in taming the wild blueberry. Then, in 1911, a person who would become his collaborator learned about his blueberry work. Her name was Elizabeth White, and she lived in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. They quickly decided New Jersey was the perfect place to get the cultivated blueberry going. And the rest, as they say, is history. Before long, cultivated blueberries made their way to North Carolina. In 1927, my father and grandfather drove along the Atlantic seaboard as far as they could to hear reports of wild blueberries growing in the areas. And by 1939, they supposedly had the largest blueberry farm in the world. When I was a kid in the blueberry field, it kind of reminded me of a carefree time in my life when you know, I didn't have a lot of responsibility. Getting to ride with Dad on the tractors, uh, hauling berries to the shed, down in the red shed. I can remember the ladies uh, filling pint cups with berries, putting a cellophane top on them. You know, in, in the older days, it, was, it, it took more time to, to, to prune the berries and to, uh, to maintain the bushes in the field. And, this day and time with the equipment's way more advanced to get in and get out of the field and, and uh, move on to the next one. We have pickers that return every year to help help harvest blueberries for us here at Ivanhoe. And we have some that have been coming for like 17 to 20 years, the best I can remember, and, and look forward to seeing them every year. The pickers that I know that come here, they, they're professional farm workers. They, they like to work, they're here to work, and that's what we're all about his work. What makes me most happy about following in my dad's footsteps is, is just getting able to work right beside him uh, every day, learning more and more. And it's been a real success story for us over the years to develop blueberry varieties that will thrive in this climate. One of the unique things about this farm is the soils. Uh, we're at the NC State University Horticultural Crops Research Station. Here is one of 18 that is operated by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture. This one is owned by North Carolina State University, and the research is administered by North Carolina State University. We take a lot of, uh, a lot of pride in our, our ability to, uh, to grow these plants successfully, to the improvements that we've made in blueberry culture, and we think that's contributed quite a lot to the, uh, the increased yields that we've seen in uh, North Carolina. The last three years, we rank the highest of any of the eastern producers. We just are pleased with what can be done in North Carolina and what our growers uh, have done. So blueberries have a, a long history in North Carolina. The demand seems to be increasing. It looks like a bright future to me. The North Carolina Blueberry Council are proud members of the U.S. Highbush Blueberry Council. For further information about North Carolina blueberries, please visit us at ncblueberry.org.